Zebra unicorn, the most exotic animal to never exist on this planet. And I named it Zabroni. Today we're going on a bit of a safari, which is why I'm wearing my Crocodile Hunter t-shirt. And I'm also, we're not going on a safari, which is why I'm not wearing any pants. I'm gonna show you how to make this rainbow zebra cake. I'm excited, let's get started. So my rainbow zebra is named Zabroni. First I was thinking about zebras, and then I started thinking about zebros, like the bro meme, you know? Do you even lift, bro? And then I was watching Moana, so I started thinking about The Rock. That snowballed into Jabroni, which is what he used to call people. I mixed all of those things together, and I got Zabroni. Do you like it? Probably not. <laughs> I think it's funny, so I'm gonna keep it. He's adorable, let's get started. Now, if you want an in-depth description on how to create this animal, then you can watch the Cena the Unicorn video. All of this footage is recycled. <laughs> to create this, I'm using a six inch dome cake for the body and two egg shaped cakes for his head. I'm also using Twinkies for his little feet. They're the perfect size for feet, you guys. And you don't have to bake extra cake just for feet, which is such a time saver. I'm going to give this a crumb coat and then three other coats of buttercream just to make sure I have the proper shape as well as the texture that I so desire. Now, the the entire process from assembly to final coat was probably about six hours I think and that's because it is like a million degrees in LA and I kept having to take the cake and put it in the fridge to set up because it's just too hot hence the no pants part of this now to create the zebra snout I'm going to roll out a large piece of black fondant probably about seventh of an inch thick I created a template to make this easier and I just placed that on top and cut it out using an X-Acto knife. Da, da, da. And I took my cake out of the fridge and just placed it onto the front of the cake. And I wanted all of his hosts to be black so I rolled out some more black fondant, used a cookie cutter and just cut out some circle shapes. Placed that onto his foot, all of his foot, I think it's like feet. We'll go with feetsies. I think that sounds right. <laughs> Are you even English, bro? I shaped them using my fondant tool and then cut off the excess using an exacto knife. And this isn't just any zebra. This is a rainbow zebra. This is the one and only Zabroni. To create Zabroni's stripes, I'm using seven different colors of fondant. I just rolled out each piece of fondant and used a paring knife to cut out each zebra stripe. And then I repeated this process with all the other colors of fondant and created different size stripes. The red stripe was really long, so instead of doing one piece, I just cut it into two. Then I just took all of my stripes and started applying them to my zebra. The stripes were all room temperature, so when I was placing them on, it actually stuck to the cold buttercream and it kind of melted it a little bit, but that's okay. I even put some stripes on his legs. He looks so cute. I love working with rainbow things. It's the only thing that's like fun all the way through. Shaping all the rainbow fondant is cool. Shooting all the rainbow fondant is cool. And then editing all of it together. It's just badass process. Now I created two eyes using some black fondant and then cut them out using a cookie cutter to get the round shape. I'm using some thinly rolled white fondant to get the light catch. Just attach both of these with a little bit of vodka and then stuck them onto the side of his face. Now to create the zebra ears, I'm rolling out some white fondant, probably about a fourth of an inch thick, and I'm just gonna cut them into two equal triangles. One for the left and one for the right. I'm giving them a little bit of a bend so that they have like a 3D shape. Now to give them even more depth, I'm rolling out a little bit of pale pink fondant and just cutting it into two smaller triangles then gluing them to the white with a little bit of vodka and a paintbrush. Now I'm placing two toothpicks into the bottom of these ears so I can plunge them into the sides of my zebra. Now let's give him a mohawk mane. Now this mane is going to be very similar to the rainbow mane that I gave Doodle. But because it's one color, I can actually do this in one swoop. I'm just rolling out a large piece of dark gray fondant, probably about a half an inch thick. And then I took a paring knife and just cut out my mohawk shape. 
And I wanted to give this some texture so I just took a toothpick and just scored it with some lime. I wanted applying this to the cake to be very easy, so I actually just cut it into smaller pieces. Inserted toothpicks into all of them, and then just plunged them into my cake. Now one of the final things we have to do is create the tail. I'm taking a very thick piece of dark fondant and just rolling it into a, a rock shape. It's supposed to be like a horse's tail, but it just looks like a rock until you start giving it texture with your fondant tools. With my fondant tools, I'm actually giving it a point and just giving it texture to make it look like it's not uniform and more like a wild animal's untamed tail. Now I'm rolling out five different colors of fondant and creating different strips for his tail. Rolling out some white fondant, I'm creating this long tube. And then I'm just going to apply all of my little different colored strips to the tube with a little bit of vodka. I added the large gray tip, took his tail and then stuck it onto his bum. And we're almost done! So I took some coconut shavings and I just dyed them using some green food coloring. I'm just gonna scatter this all over my cutting board. And then our rainbow zebra is complete. I really can't decide which wild horse is my favorite. They're all adorable. Now if you haven't seen the other two wild horses, I created a unicorn named Cena after John Cena. <laughs> and an armored rainbow pegasus unicorn named by Delaney. Now if you want to see more awesome cakes, I will link them in the description box and at the end of the video. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of the cakes I'm currently working on and you can be a part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.